in this chapter we will be learning about the ATM machines which are being placed in all the banks and financial institutes now ATM machine stands for automated teller machine these are the machines to help you out throughout the day 24 hours in receiving the cash so that you can withdraw the cash whenever you need the cash there is no need for a person to a teller to hand over the cash to you you will simply have an ATM card and you go to the ATM machine of any bank it is placed in bank or in malls at, and at different places and you just use your card and withdraw the money whatever is required it is a very convenient way of modern banking we'll be discussing what these ATM machines are how these ATM machines operate and we will take a sneak peek inside the ATM machine just checking how the cash is being loaded and dispersed from inside uh, the ATM machine so let us get into details this is one of the kind of an ATM machine there are different kinds of ATM machines uh, and different structure and different make which you look around you in the different banks or in shopping malls or other important places uh, all the machines pretty much are same from inside uh, they function in the same manner and the cash is being dispersed and loaded in the same manner their safety and security is pretty much same it's just the outer design which is little different as part of the design and branding and all like in the teller area the cash which is loaded in the ATM machine it needs to be checked properly it needs to be organized and bundled and scrutinized before it goes into the ATM machine so that is what is done before the cash is being loaded to the ATM machine let us check into the ATM machine what is inside it of course has a security combination and a key in most of the ATM machines it has dual custodianship which is like two people will open one ATM machine so it will have one key and a combination so both are required to open an ATM machine because if, of course it has cash and cash is important to safeguard that's why two custodians will come get in to the play when they want to replenish an ATM machine so far when we open an ATM machine you see here at the inside this the top cassette there are uh, you see the inside of an ATM machine there are oh, four under cassettes there are in total five cassettes one on the top and then four beneath this cassette this cassette on the top is a dispenser box where all those notes they get collected which are rejected by the ATM machine and thus they come into this uh, reject box then after that there are one two three and four boxes in the ATM machine all of these four boxes they contain cash different denominations now one most important thing you need to keep in mind is each box has only one denomination in it like one uh, type of notes like the cassette one uh, cassette one might have uh, all the bills of hundred dollar and the cassette two will have all the bills of 50 and then so on and so forth depends on the currency but each cassette will have one denomination one type of note properly sorted out and properly aligned kept inside one cassette this is the control panel on the top of it with which you will control and check and take a balance of all the day activities and you will see how much money was dispensed previously and then how much is left inside so that you can properly generate the reports and then after that you can properly reconcile it this is something which needs 
quite a detailed lecture which I will cover in my another lecture uh, but here we will just get into the further details of the ATM inside cassettes. Now here we see this first box which has all the rejected notes and all. Uh, we will just take out this uh, first box and take out all the rejected notes which a teller will be listed or the officer will take a note on a paper and keep them separately for reconciliation later on. We take out the cassette number one. This is how the cassette is. You see the size of it and generally all the ATM machines or most of the ATM machines has this same model of cassettes. Here you will pull it up and push this bar, the push uh, bar back on the back end and then uh, hold it there with that lower button and now what you will do is you will put the notes inside this cassette which are already counted and properly aligned. You see in this manner this is how you will put the notes and you close it. Now once you put the cash inside the cassette this uh, spring push uh, paddle which is on the back of the notes it keeps on pushing ahead as the machine keeps on dispensing a note every time somebody withdraws a money so whenever a customer is at an ATM machine and they punch in and they want to withdraw a money and suppose they want one thousand dollars so when they uh, enter in the keypad one thousand dollars for withdrawal what machine will do it will suck the 10 notes of $100 each from this cassette and disperse out ours. If it is programmed in the other way, then it's going to be probably 9 notes of 100, 100 and then 1 of 50 and the other 2 or 3 of the lower denomination. But whenever a note is uh, sucked out of this cassette with the machine from uh, this cassette, this push uh, bar, it pushes the other notes ahead so they keep aligned and they they are being pushed every time to the further side to the front side of the cassette from where the machine sucks each note one at a time at the time of dispensing the notes to a customer once you load the cash inside the cassette you just push the cassette inside and this is how you will keep on loading the denominations to the different cassettes at, uh, at one at a time. Another important thing which you need to keep in mind is all these cassettes are already programmed at the beginning when the ATM is being set up by the IT uh, team uh, to understand because the machine will not read what is the note inside of the cassette. Uh, it's, it has already been programmed that cassette number one will have 100 note or 100 dollar bill and cassette number two will have 50 dollar bill. So manually if you make a mistake and you put 100 dollar bills in the second cassette instead of first cassette, people will start getting the wrong amount of money because the ATM machine cannot feel and see what is the denomination inside a cassette. The machine understands the programming which has already been done by the IT people and the computer in the ATM machine knows the first cassette has 100 bills inside it. So if a human makes an error and they put 50 instead of 100 notes, machine will give 10 notes of 100 from the cassette 1 thinking that it is 100 but actually it is 50, it will go out. So that will create uh, a havoc uh, problem for the customers because they will start getting a wrong amount uh, when they request from the machine. So that's why you need to be very very careful when you are loading the notes inside the cassette. So you really need to know and understand that which cassette is for which denomination in this ATM. Normally it is from top towards the lower. Normally the higher denomination is in the top cassette and then the lower one will have the second lowest denomination and then the third one and so forth. This is how it goes. 
and it, it, a teller must be properly trained and he must have a record of everything and before they put the ATM back into live position they need to make sure that they have done everything right that's why mostly two people are required to replenish an ATM machine so if one is making a mistake the other will note that as you see here more maximum of the notes are being loaded into this case so these all of these notes are to be aligned in a proper way and in the same manner so that's why these notes are to be sorted out properly and then aligned properly and this is how you replenish it normally ATMs are replenished to the fullest capacity uh, especially if the ATM ATMs are uh, in at bank branches or in the malls and in all those areas it also depends on the insurance amount of that ATM machine as well uh, which which depends on the on the usage of the machine where the usage of machine is less the less amount is being loaded into the machine but where the usage is more uh, ATMs are fully loaded and uh, uh, because this is how uh, the the cash the um, operations manager or the head teller needs to arrange the insurance of that full amount which is being loaded into the ATM machine so that it is that amount full amount of money is properly covered so that's it this is how the ATM machine is being loaded all the cassettes are being loaded in and then in the system uh, the operator needs to input all the uh, exact amount of cash which has been loaded into the machine and then he will also make a cutoff in the machine that till now uh, he will generate a report of the machine that this is from the last replenishment till today this is the amount of cash which I have found out in this, inside the machine and this is what machine has dispensed so that they reconcile for any discrepancies and now after loading he will input all the exact number of notes which has been uploaded and fed into each and every cassette of the ATM machine after doing that they will uh, load and they will input all the details and then they will bring the ATM machine up and running for the customers to start using it we will have further details on it or if you like to know more about it please do let me know in the question and answer session or in the comments that what are the details you would like to know more about the ATM machines or CDM machines or if you want me to make another video in much of the details about CDM machines or ATM machines functionality or reconciliation I would be more than happy to answer your questions and to upload further video in detail. Thank you very much for your time.